Local medical officials confirm that several of our most critically ill COVID-19 patients have ended up transferred to San Antonio area hospitals for life-saving treatment using a machine called an ECMO or ECMO. The machine acts as an artificial lung so that patients with COVID-19 might have a better chance at survival. Our Michael Gibson looks into why a prominent medical community like Corpus Christi isn't offering the same treatment. Uh, gives us a lot more ability to actually. Dr. Carl Maher is the medical director at the pediatric ICU for Driscoll Children's Hospital. And he's showing off one of the hospital's ECMO machines. It's usually used to help patients recover from heart bypass surgery and respiratory illnesses. It acts as an artificial lung to oxygenate blood in critical care patients. Now, during this pandemic, the machine is also being used to treat young COVID patients here. With uh, COVID-19, fortunately, the children aren't as ill as the adult population, but we have in fact had one referral already for a young person who had such extreme lung disease that we had to contemplate using this machine as a bypass for the lungs. Dr. Salim Sarani is a local pulmonologist who says adult patients here are having to be sent to San Antonio for ECMO treatment at those hospitals. The challenge is that uh, who can run the ECMO? And uh, the, the one thing is that you need to have a full-time 24-7 ICU doctor in hospital, in-house, to make sure that you are running and managing it adequately. The doctor believes that it might be time for our local hospitals to begin to offer the ECMO treatment to adult patients here instead of shipping them out of town. Uh, does this town needs it? I think with the COVID and a lot of the respiratory illnesses are coming, uh, I think everyone has to seriously think about uh, that, you know, maybe we need to make an investment. Dr. Sarani also believes that has not been practical in the past to offer the ECMO treatments here because of the cost. But he feels that it might finally be time to bring in those machines and the staff to run them since the pandemic doesn't appear to be ending anytime soon. Michael Gibson, 3 News.